Morning everybody. Welcome to another episode of Core Wellness TV and today is going to be a garden cast. Uh, we're starting out our springtime garden and uh, today I'm going to spend my first time uh, hunting down some uh, nice organic horse manure and redoing our compost pile. That's the heart and soul of this place and it has been too long. It's time to rip it down replace it with some new slats. So that's my first job this morning. This one on the left, I just always pile, in, pile up the leaves from the fall and of course we throw all our vegetable scraps on there from our kitchen compost. And uh, you know all last year's garden, everything gets recycled. Everything. We'll probably be taking this tree out this year, this big old plum tree we planted here. Never did us any plums. Got a few plums on it. I think it needs a partner. If anybody knows more about plum trees, uh, let me know what I need to do. Cause we're going to take this one down because it's just putting too much shade on our garden. So especially when the leaves are on it, of course, and the roots are starting to get into the system. So probably going to axe it, and so also this our compost pile can get the sunlight it needs to bake. It's been in the shade too much. So today we're uh, going to start with the compost pile and take the tree down eventually so back in a minute we're on our way i'm getting ready to yank that last board out of there from behind and then put in our new pallets i'm excited to have a new compost new life but this time i'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm one pallet short because last time i had it set up as two separate bins so i could have two bins going at all time but uh, i guess we're just gonna go to one bin for the rest of the summer so we'll see how that works out um, I, may I may eventually separate it back out, but we'll see how that works. You just got to go with what works for you. I kind of liked having two bins because you could have one cooking and one old one, one new one. But we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Back soon. They don't smell as bad as the manure. Nope. Oh! Don't have that. These guys are making an excellent donation to the garden this year. <laughs> Thanks to Rob and and Leila. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. Well, certainly. Oh my gosh, you see that? Boys are out with uh, our neighbor Jaya today, gathering up for the. This is the end of the day. We have three big trash cans full of horse manure. Some dry, some not so dry. The stuff that's not as dry, I'm gonna mix into the compost. And speaking of the compost, we have ripped out the old stuff. Benjamin, can you zoom in on, Wait, how you on this? No, just look at it. This is the old stuff. See it all rotted out. Okay. Move back. And this is what we did. You can see the the new pallets are in. And just just stay back there. And so you can see the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> all right. Benjamin is our uh, up and coming videographer, learning the ropes here. Hi. And all right, so we finished today, um, connected these things together. I'm probably still going to go ahead. I'm probably still going to go ahead and put a divider down the middle. Uh, a little bit later, I'll probably use one of these two along the bench here, along the side. And uh, that's it. You know, compost is ready to go. We're just going to keep turning it. We got uh, one of the big lessons to learn about composting is that you want to chop up your stuff as much as possible before you put it in the compost so it happens faster so we got to get make sure you do that and just it's really simple you know this is all free you know I got this uh, uh, at the evening news dumpster they're just throwing them away so uh, that's it you know this has been a great day a good day for starting your spring garden we got to see Leela and Rob and their horses and and all that stuff so it was a, a hope it was enjoyable for you and we'll see you next time on the Core Wellness TV 
garden cast. So keep eating good food, thinking good thoughts, and keep moving. And manure smells. Just wanted to show you what I was talking about as an addendum to this whole composting day is you see that right there those dry leaves those have been under this pile for uh, since well October late October November and they are bone dry why because those all the full leaves made a shelf like a roof and that never the water never even penetrated to it that's the reason why you either need aeration or chop up the pieces so small that that can't happen. So just wanted to show you a living, breathing example of how dry it can be at the depths of a compost pile. I'm going to go ahead and take all the big leaves and put them all out here and just run my mulching mower over them and then throw them back in so we can speed the process. So again, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so Nathaniel, so tell me what you think about life. What are we here for? What's the one reason that we're here? To play. You got it. Anything else?